welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm just a girl who likes reading romance, fantasy romance, paranormal romance, any kind of genre of romance in general. And I also happen to have cerebral palsy and it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe to my channel. Happy Monday! I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Today's video is going to be my five recent reads. And I got this idea from watching Brie at In Love and Words channel. She likes to do this video a lot. My recent reads are going to be filled with the new releases in June and what I think of them and are they worth it. Keep Her Safe by QB Tyler. Shay is 18 years old and her father hires a bodyguard named Damien. And her father and her mother work at a, in the movie industry. And Shay's 18 at this point. And so he looks after Shay, but Shay and Damien have this attraction toward each other. And Damien realizes that he cannot go there because, one, uh, Sh Shay is the person he's supposed to protect. He goes to her, her father to to tell her to tell him he wants to quit being her bodyguard but before he can do that her parents die in a in an accident so Damien cannot leave her now it's like five years later and they do end up going their separate ways but Shay is this famous I think celebrity movie star and we open the book with her boyfriend cheating on her and then her her manager and gets her a new bodyguard and that bodyguard turns out to be Damon now it's five years later so Shay's in her 20s now instead of her teens. That attraction Shay and Damien have is still there. Now that Shay has broken up with her boyfriend, Damien decides it's time to give in to his feelings and pursue her. Also, he's like in a pickle because someone is Shay has a stalker. So he can't remain professional and protect her, but Shay sees this chance at finally getting the man she wants, Damien, and she is not going to let anything stop her from getting what she wants this time, even if it is a stalker. I, I liked it. I gave it four stars. I knew what it to expect from a QB Tyler book. It was very spicy, but I still liked what was meant to be better. But I really liked this one. I gave it four stars. It's a bodyguard romance, and I love bodyguard romances. And it was very, very spicy. What you can expect from QB Tyler, she's like the queen of spice. Crimson River by Devaney Perry. It is the fifth book in the Eden series. And here we have Layla. Eden, her sister, convinces her to take a break from the coffee shop because she owns Eden Coffee. So she goes out in the woods where there's a river and she sees 
blood dripping in the, the river. And she looks up and there is a man with a, like a scar on his face. Like, and he charges at her and he basically chokes her and Lay Layla gets away. Then a cop from from another uh, an FBI from another state sees Layla and sees the marking on her throat throat and knows that it's the guy that he's been searching for all along. So he questions Layla what happens to her. Vance and Layla try to figure out where this guy is located and try, tries to bring him down. I gave this book four stars. Um, I really like the romantic suspense elements. The, the romantic suspense kept me interested, the suspense part. But as for the romance... It was too much of insta-love for me. Like, it was way too insta me, And the romance kind of took me out of the book. But I really enjoyed the, the mystery of it. I was not expecting how the suspense part of the book went down. But I... And what Devaney Perry did with it, I'm excited to read the the last and final book in the Eden series because if you read book five, Crimson River, you'll know who the heroine is in book six, and book six is Mateo's book, and I'm very excited for Mateo's book. Because of what happened at the end of Crimson River and the heroine for Mateo. I'm very excited. Uh, I, I liked it, but I liked it because of the suspense part. I gave this book four stars. Forgive or Forget Me. It's a new release and I read this book because... I saw Jen from the Book Refuge talk about this book and Tabitha from Instagram. And this book is a second chance romance. It's about her name is Olivia and the hero's name is Milo. Milo goes to stay with Olivia's family when her mother died. His mother dies in an accident and like his father is to blame for the accident. So he has a strained relationship with his father and so he goes to live with Olivia and her mother. And Olivia and Milo met as teenagers and then they have a relationship but when olivia's mother gets sick milo leaves her also when milo leaves her father likes checked out too he moves to paris her her father is very neglectful so she's all alone cut two years later She's a doctor, and she, she treats Milo's dad, because Milo's dad is a father finger for her, and Milo comes into her Olivia's life and demands why she's, she's treating the person that basically ruined his life and he's so angry with Olivia. Milo never forgot about Olivia. 
then he wants answers to why she's so close with his dad when she knows what her his dad did to his mom so milo isn't leaving until he gets the answers that he wants but through that process he realized he really miss misses olivia and it goes back and forth between the past and present and i love this book because of the the heroine and the side character mac my love dad if i was basing this book on the hero's actions i would give this book a three star but everything that mac and olivia has been through i have to give this book a five stars everything that mac has been through and olivia made me cry this book is so angsty and i loved it the writing in this book is so emotional and you need to read this book to see what really went down at the night of milo's mother's death because everything is not what it seems and oh mac just has mac deserves the world he is he i felt so sorry for mac that's why i give this book five stars and his letters and the relationship he has with olivia the found family aspect in this was so so good if you want to read a second chance angsty romance with beautiful writing I, please i suggest forgive or forget forgive or forget me it was so so good the writing was beautiful i i couldn't stop crying so i give this book five stars it was totally worth it for me it's done and dusted and i read this book because of Christy from Christy Reads a Lot. I saw her I saw her reading it on her Instagram. And here we have Clementine, who is a professional I don't wanna say she's an a horse rider, equestrian person and she falls off her horse she has a traumatic experience from it so she goes back to her hometown on her on her best friend's recommendation and olivia has don't let ADHD this cutesy cover fool you protect. this book is very Every spicy she gets on her on a horse again and she goes to a bar in town and she meets her brother's best friend again, Luke. And she says hi and they get reacquainted. But uh, Olivia and Luke meet again when Luke is watching uh, Olivia's niece, Riley. And he sees the way Olivia reacts to getting on a horse again and she's in the middle of a panic attack and he offers Olivia to help he her offers to get help on the horse Clementine again because he get back is on the, the horse, horse again rider instructor so Olivia agrees for Luke to help her and while they do that while while Luke tries to help her conquer Clementine's fears about getting on the horse again they fall in love but oh Clementine is his best friend's younger sister and 
on his toes, but he can't deny him Clementine's attraction. He can't deny Clementine's and his attraction to each other, but Clementine's family is all Lucas because his biological family ignores him because his mom had an affair with some guy in town, so Luke is not his stepfather's biological son, so there's a lot of drama in there, and I really liked it. I gave it four stars. It's a brother's best friend romance. It was very spicy. I just loved how Clementine stood up to Luke's family and the found family aspect of it. And I cannot wait for book two. Living in its blood by Zoe Draven. And I'm not going to say the hero's name because I can't pronounce it. The hero is the brother from book one. He's like a half gargoyle, half alien, a half vampire alien. And um, here we have Millie, who's a chef, a traveling chef, but her her father, who suddenly dies, and she has nowhere to go, but her father's body is uh, stuck in a different plane. She has to earn credits to get his body back, and so she works in this house of a blood giver of the server. The hero sees Millie and realizes that Millie is his mate, his blood mate, but he cannot pursue her because he's in an arranged marriage to someone else for an alliance, but he, he assessed her like, I'm not married yet, I want you to be my blood giver. Millie tells him no, because the owner of the establishment tells her to turn down his offer. But the, the hero keeps coming back to the place, and him and Millie eventually form a friendship. She eventually gives in to the hero, decides to give him her blood, but they're, they're still stuck in a sticky situation because even though they admit they still love, they love each other and they're mates, he still wants to get go through with the marriage and i love this book i gave it five stars it was so so angsty the relationship millie had with her father made me cry the way she was trying to earn credit to get get his body back and i really love the side characters like the hero's brothers like, knock some sense into the hero. Like, are you really gonna uh, destroy your chance at your fated mate just to form an alliance with someone? So I really liked how the hero came to his senses. Yeah, and I really liked this book. But I would still say I like book number one better. Those are all my five recent reads or releases that I read. Please let me know down in the comments below if you have read any of these books. I would love to know. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. That would mean the world to me. And I'll see you Wednesday. Bye.